Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here. I am now located in Gary, Indiana, and uh, according to GPS, I am exactly three hours and 30 minutes away from my house. And according to my e log, I had three, three hours and 30 minutes. So it is now a race. It's a race to who gets there first. And it should work. It should work if I don't uh, if I don't run into any traffic, any major delays here in Gary. And I'm taking the suburb uh, bypass of Chicago. Right now, the local time here is 5:14. Once again, it's Wednesday, October 2nd. And I'm trying to head home. Actually, this load, as I mentioned earlier, is delivering to Wausau, Wisconsin. But I've been ordered by the shop to pass by uh, Green Bay tomorrow. Or actually, it's De Pere. That's where our terminal is, and it's in De Pere, Wisconsin. And. Um, but right now, I, I only have enough time to make it to Sheboygan, where I live. So that's what I'm trying to do, is do my 10-hour break at home instead of in the middle of truck stop nowhere, right? So, okay, um, one more thing that I would like to try is I'd like to video from here all the way until I get home. As I mentioned earlier, it's going to be a 30 minute uh, video each time. So, four hours times uh, divided by three, I uh, mean 30 minutes. So that's how many video clips it's gonna take to from here to my house. It's gonna be long, it's gonna be boring. But, for those of you out there in Europe or in Pakistan or wherever you are and you want to see the entire road and, you know, traffic, especially here in Gary. In fact, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a stopwatch or timer, no, like a stopwatch, I think. Okay, start. All right, the time right now is 5.16. So, we'll see how long this video will last. I hope the bugs won't bother you guys too much. And, um, If I find something interesting to talk about, I'll pick up the phone or the, you know, the microphone and say something, but I really wish you guys would send me, here's a project for you guys, okay? I wish you guys would do this. Go buy yourself a, a secretary or what is it called a voice recorder and talk about something that you guys are passionate about you know and um, 30 minute long uh, discussion just about anything just please be respectful be educational um, Whatever you guys want to talk about. It's kind of kind of like a radio show, you know. If you guys want to have your radio show with the view like this. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, right? Each and every one of you contributing. In fact, you can even contribute to your own language if you prefer. It'd be nice if it was English, that way everybody could understand it. But 
not necessarily absolutely necessary, right? So, yeah, go ahead and do that. Buy yourself a one of those tape recorders that takes a memory card. Either email me your file or email me your card. I got it. I got the. What is it? That way I could get to keep the memory card too, right? <laughs> yep. That'll be uh, that'll be my payment. I get to keep the memory card. There you go. And I am I am ashamed to ask you this, but uh, if any of you out there has any extra. If you guys have any of you have any extra memory micro SD card out there, what is that? A, what a 10 speed, I think it is. Or those high speed uh, memory cards. I could sure use one. Because the process of the process of uploading this video is in two ways. I can Wi-Fi it, transfer it from my camera to my phone. I can do the Wi-Fi thing, but it takes a long time to Wi-Fi a video from the Sony camera to the phone. And each time somebody calls my phone while the video is Wi-Fi wirelessly uploading, it cancels it and you got to do it all over again it is aggravating last night I had about six files and I was down to the last two I believe and wouldn't you know somebody called my phone <laughs> and so I had to start all over again so that's kind of aggravating um, but the best way really is to get the memory card out of the uh, camera and put it into the phone uh, in the memory slot on the phone. But if I do that, then my camera is rendered useless because then I don't have the extra SD card in there. So that's where I need the SD card. I figured if I had the extra SD card in there, I can uh, be uploading and I could be using the camera at the same time. So, just saying, if you, any of you guys out there have any extra memory cards, I promise I will put it in good use. I wish I could afford it, man. I really could. That just two things are in my mind right now: the SD card and the tripod. But can't do it. Okay, we are one mile east of the Illinois um, state line. I can't, yeah, this is Hammond, Hammond, Indiana, right here. Hammond, Indiana. Every time I say Hammond, I remember the movie uh, 48 Hours. No, yeah, 48 Hours, right? Ridgie Hammond, Eddie Murphy. Look at the amount of traffic that goes through here. This is the major, major artery of the northern uh, northern states of the United States of America. If you want to go to San Francisco or Seattle or Nebraska or Colorado from Maine or New York or Pennsylvania, 
you gotta go through here. If somehow something were to happen with this road, it would be catastrophic. Hey, you would you would interfere with the uh, with the commerce of the whole country right here. I mean, there are ways around it, but geez, it can't handle this much traffic. The next interstate that goes east and west out of here is um, 70. All the way down to uh, Indianapolis. I'm talking about interstate. There's a lot of highways there, but... Oh, welcome to Illinois. I just got a message from uh, Insegan, Andy, about the uh, pizzeria, the Seattle pizzeria. He said it wasn't Seattle that I showed him the food. <laughs> he had to go into his refrigerator and rob his refrigerator. I made him hungry. I warned him. I told him that it was uh, it was for Barbara Adler, not not Andy. But he just had to watch it. Oh, Andy, you're funny. You made me laugh that time, man. That was funny. Andy wrote, uh, commented on the uh, 131 Super Truck video. Johnny Winfrey. Johnny Winfrey. Huh. Never thought about that. What is... How in the world did you get Johnny Winfrey? Johnny Winfrey strikes again. Oh, I get it. Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Catchy. Catchy. Johnny Winfrey strikes again. Lol. Good catch. Good catch, John. And thank you, Kurt. Nice genuine guy Andy yeah Kurt was a real sport that guy was that was super duper I, I that, it was my first time to get into a truck like that too I've never seen the inside of a truck like that that was for the first that was the first time for many of us so that was pretty cool By the way, uh, do any of you, I gotta learn how to talk slower or calmer, I don't know, anyway, let's, let's try that, let's try my announcer uh, voice, do any of you know how to uh, change the name of my channel instead of 24168? I'd like to change that to, I don't know, Johnny be good. And, um, how in the world do you spell Johnny be good? <laughs> I, I have never, never known how to spell Johnny be good. Was it, was that Johnny be good is one word or? I don't know. I picked it up a long, long time ago. It's supposed to be my CB handle. Uh, I've actually had a lot of CB handles over the years. But the very, very first CB handle I had back in 1983, when I was uh, possibly 12, 13 years old, was Golden Eagle. But never, that never stuck. And then uh, when I went back home to the Philippines, oh dear, I picked up toilet brush. Toilet.
toilet brush because my best friend was toilet duck. And my other best friend, well, it was another it was another uh, toilet something which I'm not going to mention. <laughs> what else? So, yeah, we were our station was known as the uh, the poop station. In let's just say in kinder words, right? We had the most powerful station in Cagayan de Oro at that time. <laughs> I remember, man, I I put up a CB station, or a, I put up a really big CB antenna on top of uh, on top of a mango tree. I climbed it to the highest branch of the mango tree. Then I put a pole up there and put the antenna on the pole. I tell you what, you could see that antenna for miles and miles and miles away. So when I came back here in the United States, uh, for a while I, I tried many different CB handle. Each one somebody always copies it somebody always had it but when I used toilet brush nobody wanted it nobody else had it and nobody forgot it either <laughs> and coincidentally it is also the best back scratcher in the world my dad taught me that he would buy a brand new uh, toilet brush or those kind of hard ones he would buy it at a store and make it into a, a back scratcher no 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 it's never been used so anyway yeah question how do you change your channel uh, name and is there is there more I I don't know anything about YouTube managing YouTube channels I I just upload them videos and that's all I do I don't uh, I don't manage it I don't even I don't have a laptop with me so I, I was wondering would any of you volunteer to manage my ch YouTube channel would that even be a smart idea Is there is there even a, a reason to manage it? I mean, is there a better way to tweak it out to get more viewers or? Eh, don't know. Ah, uh, let's see. Hold on, I gotta. Whoa. Got a message from Andy about the Volvo 133 Volvo. That's a house on wheels. Oh yeah, he even had a screen door on there, Andy. That was one super looking car truck. But I did not feel welcome. I <laughs> I was not about to knock on the door and say, Hey, can I come in? No, no. What else do we got? Another message from Andy. 
Andy commented on the 132 airbag. Let's see. Nice one, John, but always, always pull the pin last. Yeah. Yeah, I should really dolly down, unhook. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually the proper procedure is to dolly down, unhook the airline's umbilical cord, and pull the pin. You're right about that, Andy. I'd do it too, but if the, the dolly crank is on the other side, I'll try to do better. All right. Andy wrote, my routine is disconnect air and electric lines, lower landing legs, pull pin. I've witnessed too many drivers getting distracted halfway through the procedure and getting caught out. Andy. Yeah, I've done that too, Andy. I've, uh, somebody comes up to you and start talking. Next thing you know, you forgot that you, you did not dolly down and you're loaded with 42,000 pounds of freight in your trailer. And when you pull out, you got to crank the trailer up using first gear and that's a lot of work and some of these cranks and dollies and the legs there are rusted the gears don't work I've even had to uh, I've even had to disconnect the uh, the auto auto fill there's a lever that connects from the chassis to the airbag valve that if you raise it lower it it adds more air into the bag raising the whole frame I've done that before but this one here you I don't know you I suppose I could do it but it's it takes a lot more work than the old uh, models but worst come to shove I suppose I could disconnect that lever and manually raise the, the airbags use use the airbag to raise the trailer up higher and um, what else yeah raise the trailer up and then dolly down and repeat you know repeat the process over and over try doing that in a hundred and ten degree weather or a blizzard or even in a normal day thank you Andy okay BJSC 1100 has replied to comment 115 this is a this is a reply to Armin's question about the that's what he meant you see Armin asked me a question the other day about a line on the road I never understood what he meant it was nice for uh, BJ SC to 
explain to him I guess Armin was questioning or asking about the uh, the rumble strips the lines on the side of the road yeah Armin those those lines um, they wake drivers up when we drift they're designed if you're tired supposedly if if you fall asleep and you drift into the median or off the lane it will wake you up they are also very very helpful in adverse weather even in foggy days they will they will very helpful they will also help when the the ground is full covered of snow when you don't really know where the edges are on the the edges and the lines of the road is it's nice to know even in the winter time you can feel those you can feel those rumble strips and uh, when it's a white out you know when in the when it's snowing really hard out here I'll show you I'll show you Armin what that what that line is you could hear it listen to this yeah you hear that Armin yeah that's what that is they use a special tool to gouge the the road and some roads in some states are even worse than that they're really they're really big and the slower you run the louder and the more violent your vehicle or tires will will shake you can really really notice it what else we got By the way, if, uh, once again for the newcomers, if you guys want to add me to your Facebook, it is John, J-O-H-N. My middle initial is T as in Tom. My last name is V as in Victor, O-L-L-R. A T H. Add me on your Facebook. little update I am now 160 miles away from Sheboygan according to GPS I have two hours and 59 minutes and my driving available driving logbook is three hours all right I got one minute to spare Woohoo! I'll be riding tonight. I'll be riding. Well, that was very nice of that little orange Toyota to move out of the way. Now, that's what you call courtesy. 
Wow, that is nice. I gotta say though, after uh, after last week's uh, after last week in Houston, I am so tempted to do my own version of roasting a pig. I don't know if I ever showed you my backyard, but I've got a pretty good sized backyard. I mean, I, I don't have acres and acres, but I just have a regular backyard big enough to roast the pig. And uh, I could certainly would like to try. I was thinking of getting a couple of hollow blocks and or some bricks put it all together the last thing that you the 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 roast a uh, pig roaster that you saw in Houston was actually made of stainless and it was portable what I'm thinking is really build a you know like a kiln like a pizza oven kind of a thing. That'd be nice, right? Oh, I forgot I'm on a diet. Here I am thinking of roasting a pig. Man, sometimes my stomach thinks better than my head. Usually when my stomach does the thinking, the outcome is really bad. <laughs> yep. Just got a message from BJSC1100. Hey John, it's, it's the comment about video 115. Hey John, your camera is fine. Very, very clear. Thank you there, uh, Mr. BJSC1100. Yeah, I did not. I did not go wrong by getting this camera instead of the GoPro. I think this does a better job than the GoPro, but I'll let you guys decide that. Give me a comment. Give me a comment about uh, which do you think takes a better picture or video. The GoPro or the Sony HDR AS15. By the way, can somebody tell me what the what HDR mean? Does that mean anything? Is that like a specific something I should know about? Once again, if you guys want to have a really good review on small dash cams, action cameras, spy cameras, anything to do with video cameras, go on YouTube and search a guy named Tech Moan. He's an English dude pretty cool 
uh, English accent too. I think he's out of Manchester, Pennsylvania. Manchester, Pennsylvania. Manchester, England.